hey welcome back to this channel guys in today's video we are going to learn how to create a simple callout animation and we will also learn how to track that callout onto our footage so let's just open up HitFilm Express and here I am on the project settings page I'm gonna go with 1080p at 30 frames per second and then click on start compositing let's click on the composite shot properties icon and here I want to change the name to callout the duration is set to six seconds you can obviously change that click on ok and uh, let's begin by creating the target the little circle icon so let's just create a new plane layer and call this target set the color to white click on ok then I'm gonna select the ellipse tool ellipse mask tool and hold the shift and the alt key on the keyboard and just create a oops and just create a create and create a circle shape like that and now let's select the selection tool hold the shift key on the keyboard and just bring this anchor point right in the center like that and now we can animate this so let's go to mask transform and I'm gonna create a simple uh, scale animation so right at the very first frame I want the scale to be at 0 move forward 20 frames I want the scale to be at 100 and maybe let's create one more keyframe and maybe like 10 frames so we want the scale to be at 90. select all the keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier so we'll have an animation that will look something like that maybe we should set the last keyframe to 85. Okay, uh, we have that nice bounce effect going on and again let's bring in this target into the timeline and I want to hide this layer and now grab the rectangular mask tool and create a simple shape create a simple line uh, like that okay and now we're gonna unhide this select the selection tool and here is the anchor point again hold the shift key and just bring this anchor point onto the left edge of this shape you can zoom in and be precise with this and uh, again with the selection tool we're going to place this right on top of this circle shape let's go to mask go to transform and now we can change the rotation so i'm going to rotate this by about negative 25 and I'm also going to animate it so let's see where our target animation is let's just real, real quick rename this to line and let's go to mask and this is where our target animation ends so I want to start this animation of this line from that time so let's create a scale keyframe break the link on scale set the scale to zero move 20 frames forward and set the scale back to 100. Convert the keyframes to manual and bezier, and now we will have this kind of animation. Now, again, we'll duplicate this line layer and go to mask, transform, and we set the rotation back to zero. And uh, let's just simply change the position. And we can like zoom into this and just put this just join these two layers these two line layers and uh, now if we play this you can see our lines are animating at the same time so we'll just move our player to the second keyframe I'm gonna select these two keyframes and just put the first keyframe right at the playhead so now we will have this kind of animation now on the second keyframe I want to extend the length of this so let's just change the scale to something like 150 now uh, we have this kind of animation now let's create a new text layer select the text tool and just start typing your text I'm going to type in simple go to text and here we can change the font maybe let's go with the sans I'm going to increase the font size and now with the selection tool I can just move it around like that I'm gonna rename this to 
simple. I'm going to duplicate this and I'll just move it down like that. Again, use the text tool and change the text to call out. I'm going to rename this layer to call out like that. And now I'll just I uh, want to animate the text layer. So so let's just see where our second line animation ends. So it ends at this time, two, two seconds and 10 frames. So I'm going to move my playhead at that position. Now I'm going to go to call out, go to transform, create a position keyframe. And let's just move. Uh, let's just move 20 frames forward. And uh, I want the I want to have the same kind of position. So let's just create another keyframe. And on the first keyframe, I want the position to be at the top. Okay, so we have this animation. I'm going to select the keyframes and convert them to manual Bezier. Now I'll do the same thing with the simple text layer. So go to transform, create a keyframe, and let's move forward 20 frames, create another keyframe, and on the first one, Let's just change the position and bring it down like that. Convert the keyframes to smooth keyframes or manual Bezier keyframes. So now we'll have this kind of animation. Okay, now I will just again drag in this target and put it at the top. I'm going to change the name, rename it to Matt. And I'm going to hide this. So I want this layer to be right in the center the top edge I want the top edge of this layer to be at the center and now I will s I'll search for the set matte effect in the effects tab and apply it on the callout now let's go to set matte set the source layer to matte set the blend to subtract so let's see if everything is okay so we can see a text got hidden so we just have to simply click on the inward option and we'll just reveal your text. I'm going to copy the set matte effect and apply it on the simple text layer. And we will just uh, uncheck the inward option and you can see your, you'll get your text back like that. So now uh, we are done animating our uh, callout. Now it's time to use this callout onto our video footage. So uh, I'm going to import our video real quick. So let's just do that. Click on import. And uh, here I have the footage. So I'm going to right click on this and click on make composite shot. I'm going to change the duration. I'm going to match it up with the duration of my call out animation, which is six seconds to be precise. Click on OK. And now uh, what we'll do is um, before we start tracking, we'll create a new point layer. And we'll call this tracking data. Okay. Okay, so this is our video footage. I'm going to expand this layer. And we have the tracks option. Let's click on the plus icon. And you'll get these two boxes. So you just have to put this box uh, where you want to, you know, basically track your footage. So I'm going to track this lens. I'm going to put my call out. I want the call out to track the lens right here. So I'll just, I can also increase the size of this to get the more uh, search radius um, so once you do that you just make sure your your player is at the very beginning and just simply click on the track forward option and it will just you know start tracking the lens so we'll just wait for that and uh, there we go so it has completed tracking the data but as you can see it's still continuing tracking for some reason i don't know why but we can just simply click on the pause icon and we'll just stop tracking that so let's go to tracker and tracking point one let's just zoom in and we need to delete the last keyframe because you can see that we have this weird track at the end so simply delete by simply deleting this keyframe you can get rid of that straight line okay so uh now in the track panel 
we have the layer so let's click on that and we just apply the the all these keyframes to the tracking data layer and click on apply so basically what it did was it just simply copied these keyframes and apply it onto the tracking data point layer okay now we can create a new uh, not new we just had to go to media and just bring in our call out let's just switch back to the viewer mode and you can see our call out is huge so we need to shrink that down so let's just scale that down real quick maybe like around 60 60 percent and uh, let's go to the very beginning and let's just find that little target icon so which is right here so i just simply move this layer to the left to get this icon and now i can just position this on the area that i just tracked so which is the lens so now i can just move this layer back to its proper position now all we have to do is just pair in the callout to the tracking data and that's it so now we can just play this animation and you can see our callout will be tracked to this to the lens of this camera so that is pretty much it that's how you can create a callout and track it onto the footage um, so if you have any questions regarding this video or if you have any suggestions do let me know in the comments below other than that if this video was helpful please don't forget to like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one